Hello, world, and to all my new subscribers, welcome. This is the first of a few quick videos on orbital maneuvers. Today's video will cover the parameters of an orbit. It's more of a math and science video, and not necessarily a Kerbal Space Program one. However, all the properties to talk about today are the same properties that Kerbal Space Program uses to define your orbits in game. Now, all orbits are ellipses, with the parent body at one focus of the ellipse. A circular orbit is a special case in which the foci and center of your orbit are one and the same. The most basic property of your orbit is your semi-major axis. This is the average distance of your apoapsis and periapsis to the center of your orbit. If you're in a circular orbit 100 kilometers above the surface of Kerbin, your semi-major axis is that 100 kilometers plus Kerbin's 600 kilometer radius, or 700,000 meters. The next aspect of your orbit is your eccentricity. As I explained in the Kerbal Space Program glossary, it's a measure of how not circular your orbit is. You can think of it as how much the apoapsis and periapsis deviate from being circular by these equations. The next parameter I want to talk about is the inclination. It's the angle measurement between your orbit and the parent body's equator. When you're in orbit around Kerbin, you can easily see your inclination by setting the moon as your target and seeing the difference. Since the moon has zero inclination, it's a good reference body. When you set the moon as your target, you'll see two important points when measuring your inclination, your ascending and descending nodes. These are the points your craft rises above and below Kerbin's equator, and the plane of moon's orbit. The longitude of the ascending node is the next parameter, and if you know what the longitude is, and you know what the ascending node is, this one should be pretty obvious. It's simply a measurement of where the ascending node of your craft is on the planet's equator. By contrast, the longitude of the periapsis is where the periapsis is in relation to the surface of the planet. The mean anomaly is the measure of where your craft is in your orbit. It's a measure, in radians, of how far it's been since its last periapsis. If it's zero, it means your craft is at periapsis. If it's at 3.14159265358979 or pi, you'll be at your apoapsis. Then that's it! With these six values, semi-major axis, eccentricity, inclination, longitudes of ascending node and periapsis, and the mean anomaly, you can perfectly describe the orbit of any celestial body, as well as its position along that orbit. We'll talk about how to change these values for your craft in the next video, but until then, I will see you out there.